Last time on breaking a 13900K in half, we have a delitted i9 13900K processor on an EKWB delid kit. So this is a water block that actually touches directly on the CPU die. But we ended up having an issue because the height was not correct. And so what happened was EK sent me a fix. And this is on the Asus ProArt Z790 Creator Wi-Fi motherboard for Nalatake. And so this should be pretty fun. So EK, in a household paper towel, uh, printed a new, or milled, a new block. Look at that. And this piece right here as well. So this is going to be going around the i9-13900K, as you see over there. And then this is going directly onto the CPU water block. So the sizing or the height should be perfect for these two together. Let's try it. First up, look at the espresso that the lady just made me. So first step is to take this off. Best to do it in a crisscross pattern. So we had a little bit of the glue from the foam that was sticking to this, unfortunately. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this back. And it is interesting how the new one is a bit different from the old one in terms of the print. So this one actually says direct die. This one doesn't. It just has the EKWB and Der Bauer logo on it. And we're just gonna drop them in and screw it in again. Now this, you don't want to screw in too tightly. You just want it to be secure. And that's it. And so this old one, we're gonna go ahead and toss. And now for this. So it is all about the Z height on these. So this area right here, that's that extra extension that's gonna to be touching the die, the 13900KS processor. So that Z height is a bit different from this one. So that's making all the difference in performance. And this is clearly on nice and, I don't wanna say loose, but it's not like jammed on there. So this is definitely easy to, to take off. Normally I would have cleaned off the liquid metal that's on there already, but there's no need since this is trash. You have to be very precise when it comes to direct die cooling and if something is off by a fraction of the millimeter, it's, it's toast. You're not gonna be able to use it. And that's what that looks like. All right. And so this does not have the rubber gasket on it. So we're going to take the rubber gasket from this and put it on that one. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, bye-bye. And you will notice that it's already pretty much to form, which is nice for us. And now we're just gonna slide this on and we're gonna do the same thing with the crisscross format of this because we want this definitely with the seal to be nice and secure. Hmm. Slight extra turn on these and we will be good to go and that's it we now have an updated direct die cpu water block and now stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be applying liquid metal to the cpu die as well as the cpu water block this is good <laughs>